everybody, it's Care. It is January the 1st, 2021, and today is the day that I am planting my garden. Okay, let's see what's going okay, on. So here we have a bunch of seedlings, which I've been transplanting into larger pots. And then I'm going to take those and I'm going to place them down in the garden beds. And then I'm going to plant them. All right. Let me show you what we've been hey, doing. everybody. Okay. We're here at my potting table. We've got some crushed eggshells. I got a little baby mango plant that I grew from seed. I've got my Garden Tone Organic Epsoma with Biotone in it. This is my secret sauce that I use when I do my planting with Kellogg Garden Soil. And I mix the eggshells in there and then I make a nice little cocktail for all my little seedlings to go into. Anyway, I've got some cabbage here. I've got a, a little garlic growing. I've got some dill. This is, U, this is Utah celery. I've got a whole bunch of little carrots. I'm sorry, carrots. And then I've also got some tomatoes growing here. And then here's a little pepper plant. And then this is our little bonus green bean plant that we started growing right here on the potting table. So it's pretty cool. And then this beautiful, beautiful vegetable is actually called amaranth. And it's beautiful red and it's edible, 100% edible. Okay, so I'm going to take all these little pots and then I'm going to transplant them down there into our garden beds. Take a look at the view. It is absolutely amazing with the fall colors. I'm down here in the garden and Mark and I have cleaned out pretty much all of these garden beds. I love raised beds. We had some on legs last year. We had two of them and honestly they just rotted out too quick. It only lasted like two years. So we decided to go ahead and do raised beds this year and just make everything really uniform. There's my little tipper doodle. See her? She's so cute. Had to stop and show her off. Anyway, she's a great garden dog. All right, she's a Jack Russell too. All right, so here we go. This is our teepee planter. Last year, this thing was a mega producer. There is beans planted in here. There's not a lot that's come up yet. I did plant them last weekend. So we do have some beans coming and we've got some flowers. You see them? Yeah, some of the flowers took a hit in the freeze that we, we all got right at freezing. So there's a little, there's a little flower right there. And yes, we do have a few little, um, some activity, not a whole lot. Anyway, okay, so here, there's my bunching onions. Those I use for garnishes and just toppings on tacos, etc. Really great to have in your garden. Highly recommend having them. All right, back to the planter beds. So what I did is I, I seed everything in seed pods that like vegetables. Uh, the reason I do that is just because I have issues with my lower back bending over a lot so it gets really sore and when you do a lot of gardening you want to minimize that so and then I took them and I transplanted the little seed pods into these little things so yeah really great um, and then you let them get a little root bound and then they're super easy to transplant into your garden beds and I planted these uh, like in particular this one right here the larger ones I actually planted those November the 1st and today is January the 1st so they've had you know two months to grow and that's the size of them the ones that are about two months so and then this is more like a month old maybe not quite maybe three weeks old but anyway they came up so they're going to be planted into the garden bed so these are my tomato planters I'm going to be planting them into the soil and I've got these in rows. So this row right here, that's Roma tomatoes. This row right here, these are Chadwick tomatoes. They're kind of like an orangey yellow tomato, not super big, um, but great to eat. About the size of Roma's, but more rounded. Um, these ones here are beef steaks, and I love beef steak tomatoes. So I took some of my larger ones and I plant, I've got them in here ready to go. And then these are yellow pear tomatoes. Last year we grew a yellow pear tomato plant from a seed that fell in the ground and it grew to be six feet tall, six feet wide, and six feet deep. It was ridiculous. We probably got over a thousand tomatoes up that plant. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so here we go. Let's keep moving. And then of course we got some bonus tomatoes that fell from uh, tomatoes that fell into the soil and they came up this year. So I didn't even have to plant them. They just came up. Uh, all right, here we go. Another planter bed. 
I've got Brad's Atomic Tomatoes in here. They're kind of a heirloom rare tomato. Everything I grow is organic. So it's a, it's a rare, cool looking and iridescent tomato. Here I've got uh, brandy wine. Those are large tomatoes. They'll be about the size of a beefsteak. You can hold it in the palm of your hand. And then here I've actually got more beefsteaks. And then I've got, uh, these are Chadwick's. So yeah, really great. I'll be planting those today. And you notice how these are four foot by six foot planter beds. Raised bed, planter beds, full of organic soil. Kellogg is who I use. They're great. Their soil is fantastic. It's got mulch in it. And then I mix in my Biotone fertilizer. And we, we actually put in fire, uh, the, the charcoal from a fire, from our fire pit. And we mix it in there. As you can see, I've got chunks of charcoal in there. And that's okay because anything that you've got that's organic matter is going to make your vegetables grow bigger and stronger. So, yay. Um, Anyway, and I've got these things spaced out three, and so three to a row. And I, because they'll get to be like about, mm, that you need to have, you need to have enough room to get them to grow and be decent size. So, you know, I have a limited space, so I want them to grow and have enough room. So this one come out to about here, and then this one right here. So they'll, they'll be fine, and they'll, they'll grow up tall. We'll probably put on some sticks and some rope and tie them off once they get really tall. And then that'll just help them stand up straight, really. Um, we did that last year with our, our, the planter bed that we had on legs. And it worked out just fine, except it was a little bit crowded because it was on legs. So, and it was a smaller planter. Anyway, all right, so here I've got some more tomatoes. I'm sorry, not tomatoes, uh, some Swiss chard. I've got ready to go into the ground. And by the way, all these leaves that have fallen off the trees, which are fabulous colors right now, fabulous. The reds and the maples and the oranges and yellows. I'm loving it this year, it's great. So the leaves I'm gonna leave in there because the leaves are in essence mulch. So I'm gonna mulch them into the ground and away we go. It just adds to more organic material in your garden. All right, and over here, I've already been working on this one. I've got tatsoi planted here. Tatsoi is a Japanese vegetable. It's kind of like a cross between, it's considered a green, it's a cross between spinach and a collard green, but miniature. And they are very delicious. They taste a lot like spinach, um, but they're not spinach. Uh, they are a green and they're very good. So I've planted those in here. And then I've got purple lady bok choy. I've got, this is a purple broccoli. And then here I've got a, a bunch of different lettuces that I'm going to be planting. They're very healthy looking. Very, very healthy looking. A diff there's like three different varieties in here. So those are looking good. This right here is our herb planter. Uh, needs some attention, obviously. <laughs> but we just got out here like a few weeks ago and started working on this. And we're trying to get it back to where it's going to be productive this year. So yeah, a um, lot of good herbs in here. There's some great cilantro. I've got thyme. Um, there's a humongous radish over here. I'm going to zoom in on that. That thing is huge. I'm going to let that go to seed and then I'm going to collect the seeds and I'm going to plant the seeds. So really, there's some carrots up there. Yeah, it's a cool planter. And then here, this is my husband's pepper planter. So yeah, a lot of really great peppers on here. He's been picking them. Um, he picked a whole bunch of jalapenos off of here. But we've got flowers. There's, there's a flower right there. These will be great producers this year, I'm sure. We have had excellent luck doing peppers this year. All right, and then I've got a bunch of radishes over here. And then right here, I've got more radishes. And as you can see, some of these things are big and they'll be ready to pick, so. Right there, yeah. So yeah. Oh, and here's my Haas avocado tree. Yay, I've got two of those planted in the back. Oh man, when they start producing, woohoo, they're gonna be amazing. I've also got a little black olive tree right here. <laughs> Can't see the leaves, they're really cute. I got that at Walmart for a dollar. Um, and then I've got some loquats back there. We've got some bananas growing and the banana trees. We've got all kinds of great stuff. Um, over here, those are my beehives. They're empty right now because my bees died last year, uh, unfortunately, but I will be getting more. So yeah, looking forward to that. Anyway, okay, so that's pretty much an overview of the garden right now. 
and I'll check in with you guys on my next video. Thank you.